come with me if you want to live. Just a matter of time, I reckon. The city's afraid of me. I've seen its true hooves. The streets are extended parties, and the parties are full of friendship. And when the naysayers finally join the herd, the accumulated joy of all their friendship and magic will foam up around their waists. One of us died tonight, and some pony knows why. I heard he was working for Celestia. Maybe it was a political killing. Or maybe some ponies picking off costumed heroes. Dr. Manhattan thinks that there's going to be a nuclear war. Why would I save a world I no longer have any friends in? Here goes a pertinent simultaneous fundamental anomaly. Concordantly, the adequate quintessential sublime inevitability. Vis-a-vis -vis the delusion of choice. Equestria. What do you want? Friendship. Mr. Anderson. My name is Neo. by summoning Void Rage, Guardian of Testosterone! Yeah! Prepare to get dominated, Yugi Sparkle! You're not going to get away with this, Pinky Kaiba! I summon Derpy Hooves and equip her with a Muffin of Deliciousness. The baked goods increase her friendship level by 20%. What? No way! Derpy obliterates Roid Rage, Sending him to the graveyard. Next, I'll place one card face down. Your move, Pinky. Your childish endeavors are pathetic. I summon the blue eyes, white scootaloo in attack mode. Next, I use Wrath of the Hater. This magic card uses hatred and. As our heroes continue their journey to the Ponymon League, one trainer stands in their way. I'm gonna win this battle! You don't stand a chance! There ain't no way you can beat me! I have the best Ponymon ever! Whoa! What's that? No duo, the flightless bird Ponymon! Ha! This will be easy! Go pick a blue! Use thunder attack! Pika! Balloon! It's super effective! Huh? What do you mean? Well, you see, Misty Pie, even though Doduo can't fly, she's still a flying type Ponemon, which means she's weak against electric attacks. All right, Ponyta, you can do this. Use Fire Blast! Go, 
my changelings! Speed! I've just received word that Queen Chrysalis has hidden the elements of harmony in an unexplored dimension known as Kanto. Twilight Sparkle, you must go there and retrieve the elements before it's too late. Bring Rainbow Dash with you. She will aid you on this quest while the rest of us defend Equestria. Don't worry, Princess Celestia. You can count on us. We must begin searching immediately. Right. I'll fly ahead. No, Rainbow. We have to stick together. This is an unexplored world, so unless some pony else has magic in this dimension, I'm the only one capable of transporting us back to Equestria. Nido King. Rainbow, run! Nido. Dear Dashy Potter, you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Friendship and Magic. You're a wizard, Dashy. Uh, I mean, only if you want to be, <laughs> of course. Do you really have that scar? Holy sweet Celestiador! Be warned, my faithful students. The Everfree Forest is strictly forbidden, and the third floor corridor is out of bounds to any pony who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Mr. Potter! Our new celebrity! Troll! In the dungeon! Troll in the dungeon! Thought you... I uh, didn't know... Hagrid Shy, you've been illegally keeping a baby dragon in your home all this time? Yes, Hermione. I have. How did my father die? He was murdered by Darth Pinky. Pinky was seduced by the dark side of the horse. Yes, I bet you have. Oh no! Look out! It's the mirror in the moon! That's no moon. It's a space station. Really? That's so awesome! Not just any space station. A big, huge, massive, galaxy-controlling tractor beaming could destroy a planet in a single-shot space station. Ha! Huh, that's nothing. We can just shoot a missile into its main reactor. It'll blow up in ten seconds flat. Now listen here. You must use the horse. <laughs> You don't hug it. Its vision is based on friendship. That no good Danis Pinky shut down the park and stole our dino DNA. Get the power back on! I told you, Granny. We're completely locked out of the system. I'm going with Dr. Ellie's saddle to find the others. Hopefully the Jeep has enough horsepower. All right. Y'all be careful. Granny, I can't get Jurassic Park back online without Dennis Pinky. Hey there, little guy! You're not as big and scary as those other dino ponies. I, Pinky, promise I won't hurt you. Cross my heart and hope to fly, stick a cupcake in my eye. <laughs> Remind me to thank Granny for this lovely weekend. <laughs> Equestria has changed. I feel it in the water. I smell it in the air. I taste it in the trough. Much that once was is lost, for no pony now live who remember it. And of all the worst things that could happen, 
This is the worst possible thing! Oh, and the Dark Lord Sauron forged a magical horseshoe that's threatening all of Ponykind. Applegorn, I know that I'm a unicorn, and you're an earth pony, but I want to be your super special sun pony, and I'm willing to give up my unicorn magic to do so. You have all been summoned here to answer the threat of Mordor. I say we give the horseshoe to Gondor. It'll make us 20% cooler. It ain't gonna increase your swag. The horseshoe answers to Sauron alone. Then it is decided. The horseshoe must be destroyed. Then what in the hay are we waiting for? The only way to destroy the horseshoe is by going deep into Merdor and casting it into the fires of Mount Friendship from whence it came. One of you must do this. No pony simply trots into Merdor. Rainbowmere, you have wings. Just fly there. It's not that simple, Dodo Baggins. Wait a minute. If Sauron is a naysayer, then let's just convert him with the magic of friendship. One does not simply convert a naysayer. Their heart is guarded by more than just hatred. There is evil within their soul that does not sleep, and their judgmental eye is ever watchful. Their heart is a barren wasteland, riddled with fire and ash and dust. The very air they breathe is pessimistic. Not with 10,000 mares could you love and tolerate them. It is folly. Rainbow Amir is right. We have no other choice. The horseshoe must be destroyed. I will take the horseshoe into Merdor. I swear by Celestiodolf's beard. If I can protect you, I will. You have my sword. And you have my bow. Hey, yup. Celestiodolf, I heard something. That's Pinkamina. She was once called Pinky before the horseshoe found her. Before it drove her mad. It's a pity Bilbo didn't hate on her when he had the chance. Pity? Many ponies that have friendship deserve haters. And some that have haters deserve friendship. Can you give it to them, Dodo? Do not be too eager to deal out hatred and judgment. Perhaps Pinky has some part to play in all this. I wish the horseshoe had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. So does every pony who lives to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the friendship that is given to us. The Fellowship is breaking. die from one little arrow. I know what I must do. It's just, I'm afraid to do it. Even the smallest filly can change the course of the future. Arwen, what happened to your horn? I gave it up to be with Applegorn. You did what? How could you? We're in love. I would do anything for my super special sun pony. Your unicorn horn is what made you special! But father, I... You have no idea what you've done! The very thing that made you special is now lost forever. Even if Sauron is defeated and Applegorn made king, and everything you hope for comes true, you will still have to suffer a boring and mundane life as a magicless earth pony. But there is magic in my future. The magic of friendship. 
I told you they was tricksy. I told you they was false. No. Master's our friend. Master likes us. Nasty little filly stole our precious. <gasps> this calls for extreme measures. Smeagol pie style. It cannot be. You fell. Through hatred and pessimism. On the lowest dungeon to the highest peak, I fought the darkest naysayer in all of Equestria. Until at last I threw down the hater and smote his intolerance upon the mountainside. We could really use your help, Celestia Dolf. Dodo and Sam are on their own, and Sauron's forces are making their way to Helm's Deep. And to make things worse, this ain't no ordinary army. It was bred for a single purpose, to destroy the world of mares. We need your help, or Ponykind is doomed. Then I shall aid you. At dawn, look to the east. Many of these trees were my friends. This makes me so frustrated I could just scream. <gasps> I can't do this, Sam. I know. It's all wrong. It's like in the great stories, Mr. Dodo. The ones that really mattered. Full of naysayers and intolerance they were. And sometimes, no pony wanted to know the end, because how could the end be happy? How could Equestria go back to the way it was when so much hatred had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing, this pessimism. A new day will come, and when the friendship shines, it will shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you, the ones that meant something even if you were too small of a feeling to understand why. But I think, Mr. Dodo, I do understand. I know now. Fools in those stories had lots of chances of turning back. Only, they didn't. They kept going. Because they were holding on to something. What are we holding on to, Sam? That there's some friendship in this world. And it's worth fighting for. of Equestria, I see in y'all's eyes the same fear that would take the heart of me. A day may come when the kindness of mares fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of loyalty. But it ain't this day. An hour of haters and broken hearts, when the age of mares comes crashing down. But it ain't this day. This day we love and tolerate. By all that y'all hold dear on Equestria, I bid you stand, mares of the West. Remember Ponyville, Mr. Dodo? It'll be spring soon, and sweet apple acres will be in blossom, and the Paris sprites will be nesting in the hazel thicket, and they'll be throwing the summer festivals in the town square, and eating the first of Granny's sap apple jam. Do you remember the taste of apples? No, Sam. I can't recall the taste of food, nor the sound of laughter, nor the magic of friendship. I'm naked in the dark, with nothing, no veil, between me and the wheel of hatred. I can see him with my waking eyes. Then let us be rid of it, once and for all. Come on, Mr. Dodo. I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. Come on! I never thought I'd die fighting side by side with a unicorn. 
What about side by side with a friend? Hey, yep. I can do that. What are you waiting for? Destroy the horseshoe! Throw it in the fire! No. The horseshoe is mine! <laughs> no, silly! It's mine! Huh? Haste, Great Eagle. The little fillies need our aid. 